many memories here. It's kind of like a film school in itself, really. This is Sparta. Uh, stunning, remarkable. At the top of this, there's like a massive porn section. I've never seen that in a CEX before. So just to give some uh, context, we were in the CEX in Birmingham City Centre. And uh, what this is telling me is that there are a lot of horny people in Birmingham. And they're kind of done. They're kind of they're done with whatever they were into at that time. They're behind bars, for instance. Uh, in a South American prison, life is cheap, but sex is cheaper. Ah, now, I remember where I was when this came out. I remember where I was when this came out, yeah. Jonah Hill's first mature role, really. I mean, the, the, the director that we know today is the actor that we see here. I'll take that with me. You know, I didn't know who Ewan Bremner was before this film, and I'd seen Train Spy. True story about this movie. Uh, when it came out, I think I was about 16 years old, something like that, I went to see it at the local uh, showcase, which is no longer a thing. Um, when I went to see this, I, I snuck in with my friend. We had no idea what it was like. We did like that. <clears throat> we had no idea that, that we would see someone's penis being swung around on the screen like this. And it was in that the moment I realised that direct cinema, live cinema, is, is, is a lot more important, I think, to uh, the modern audience. I think that kind of direct conversation is something that I wanted to generate in my own work. So, quite a few copies of Anchorman. I mean, no surprise there is a popular movie. Uh, definitive, some would say. I, 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 I'd think that privately. <laughs> it's something I've heard about a lot. I keep seeing it when people talk about uh, Roger Deakins, um, in the sense that they keep posting photos of Roger Deakins' work out of context. Here we go. We're talking about classic cinema here. We're talking about The Fighter, when Paul was nominated for seven Oscars when Creed was only nominated for one. I mean, that's got to say something about the quality of O'Russell's work. Here we go. Now, as many of you might know, it is the 40th anniversary of Scum this year, so 1979, coming up to 2019, of course. Uh, a definitive piece, pretty similar. It's definitive to my life in that part, you know. Define certain aspects of masculinity for me, you know, help me see myself in a wider context that I wasn't engaging with at school, that I was very passive within the kind of systems that I was existing with. And, you know, I think I've just found a spiritual successor in what has been described as a gem full of quiet humour and humanity, uh, Borstal Boy. Based on Brendan Behan's. <laughs> sorry, there's a lot of alliteration in this. Here we go. Praise you, bro. Now this, this is definitive. 2010 cinema. Uh, the first cinema that made me think about Ryan Gosling's penis. Much like Hank Azaria in uh, Run, Fat Boy, Run, a real sense of the, the sweat and maybe even the musk of that man's penis in the scene. And I think that's a very important lesson for people to learn, with the, the idea of generating a very visceral experience in the cinema. Something that really connects to you bodily. Thank you. You know what? I hate to say this, but knowing that I was going to come here, knowing that I was you know, I had to take time away, obviously, to come here, but um, knowing that I'd come here, I was really hoping you'd have him stuck in that bit behind his course. It's seminal. This big blockbuster film has everything. Yeah, I think I'll have that. That's what I'll take.